Today's video is going to be just like a regular weekly vlog. Just a girl in her 20s taking it day by month of freaking day. I really didn't have like a plan for this video or like a certain type of vibe I was going for or you know what I mean. So I just decided to pick my camera up today. It is Tuesday, March 12th at 9.50 in the morning. I am filming on my new camera. Period. This is my first video on my new camera without the beauty filter on. Because last time I showed y'all a clip of it, I had the beauty filter on and it probably looked a mess. So yeah i am doing 75 soft if you don't know so i am working out every single day eating on like a healthy diet which is healthy for me which may not be healthy to some i just have to make that a disclaimer every single time i have to read 10 pages a day i have to drink three liters of water per day i just filled my water bottle up this is the one i use my simple modern and then as y'all seen from the last clip i just made my zero sugar coffee because i have to do some things today and i am tired as heck daylight savings was like two days ago and i've been thrown off ever since i have been going to sleep at like 1 a.m and waking up at like 7 in the morning and we have to get that together i've heard one of the biggest things like if you're looking to lose weight or see progress in the gym your sleep schedule plays a big part in it which makes absolutely no sense to me but that's what everybody be saying so it's just like I got to get it together. So I'm up early this morning. Hopefully we can go to bed early tonight. But I've been doing 75 soft today makes day nine. So it's been a little over a week. I've been keeping track of everything on this app called Every Day. So as you can see, the ones that have the, the colored in boxes is what I did. If it's halfway, I did it, but I didn't do it fully. So on the 7th, I think it says, I didn't read my full 10 pages, but I read something. That's it though. I've worked out every day. I've ate well every day. I haven't had a cheat meal yet. I haven't, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing pretty good. I'm not going to let those little two things, you know, make me feel some type of way because it's just reading. I'm not going to lie about it because this challenge is for me, not nobody else. You know what I'm saying? It's to see how well I can hold myself accountable. And so far, it's been going pretty good. The only thing I will say is I am struggling with cravings i haven't like had a cheat meal i haven't gave in but like all i think about every single day is a chipotle burrito and obviously that i cannot have until my 75 days is up yeah that's the only thing but i know it'll go away sooner rather than later but it's still new it's still fresh my body still get used to it um the working out hasn't been bad at all which i thought was gonna be the worst part but it's actually quite literally my favorite part so i'm about to go ahead and my 10 pages for the day this is the book i'm currently reading it's called simple on purpose in the last video i showed y'all the book the power of your subconscious mind i'm going back and forth between those two because i've noticed me reading and sitting with one book is not gonna work like with these self-improvement books i gotta switch back and forth so i'm about to go ahead and read my 10 pages for the morning i need to do my grocery run today because i'm doing my grocery runs weekly instead of like every two weeks or every month because i be wasting stuff so i'm gonna be real i be wasting stuff but when i do it weekly i don't waste nothing i might waste maybe one or two things out of like the 50 things i bought you know what i'm saying so that's just what this week looks like just bring you guys along my week as a regular 21 year old girl but yeah let's go ahead and do our 10 pages for the day Sneaking all in your 
your dorm room But baby, when your room makes some Did you make sure the door is locked? She said she only fuck like four, five niggas So you know you gotta multiply by three I am currently in the Audi parking lot. I just pulled up. We're about to go grocery shopping for the week. It is Tuesday. Yesterday was just like a lazy day for real, for real. I still did like my workout and stuff, but today is the day we get back on track. We lock in. I've been locked in for real, for real, but y'all know what I mean. So I'm at Audi. I just got my, um, I bought these little plastic Audi bags so I don't have to keep buying them janky paper bags but i love coming to audi y'all it is so cheap like last week i spent i think i want to say like 80 bucks and usually when i go to the grocery store i spend like over a hundred so i made a list for the week playlist of dinner ideas breakfast ideas and snacks so i'm gonna just really go buy this today and see what i can find inside i'm also going to run to the grocery store too anyway because audi don't be having everything that i'm looking for so we're gonna have to make two stops today after this i'm going right back home because i am hungry as Okay, I haven't ate nothing all day. I just have a stomach full of coffee. Anyways, let's go into Audi and I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Look at this new camera. Rap to you real quick. I wanna enjoy the luxury of life. Not knowing each other for real. I am back from the store as y'all can see I just put everything out so I can give y'all a quick haul because I'm not about to sit here and take it out the bag one by one when I got at the store I spent a little less than 200 today total so not too bad not too bad and I'm about to go ahead and make breakfast I'm making these um turkey sausage uh McMuffin type things with a bowl of fruit on the side so yeah I'm gonna give y'all a quick haul and then we're gonna get straight into breakfast found these snacks from Aldi, like healthiest snacks, white cheddar puffs, veggie straws, and cheddar cheese rice cakes. I got some protein bars, some butter, these little oranges. I have been obsessed with these for some reason. Some light syrup, some Kodiak blueberry waffles, Kodiak chocolate chip pancakes, and I got regular protein pancake mix. Um, I've been on this Kodiak brand bag, so I want to try these too. I got the regular waffles, and they're pretty good. Turkey bacon, the... The English muffins, I got these. I heard these were good for like people who are on weight loss and stuff or health fitness journey, whatever. I got these two Quest bars. They just came separate and I just want to try them. Turkey sausage, sweet potato fries. These Chobani Completes. Yeah, you put me on to Light Ranch. These protein shakes, these are actually really good. This specific flavor tastes like a vanilla milkshake. Some jelly, bag of sweet potatoes, broccoli and cheese, green beans cauliflower uh, mix whatever shrimp fair life some body armor because I'm getting kind of tired of just drinking straight water I need something so these have low calorie no sugar added salmon blueberries strawberries grapes Caesar salad kit spinach crab cakes Kobe Jack cheese honey turkey breasts chicken breasts strawberries and blueberries these are the frozen ones for my smoothie and that is everything I got. I don't want to talk right now because I'm so hungry. So let's just get straight into breakfast. But I just made breakfast. I just want to show y'all. I just made a turkey sausage and cheese McMuffin. And I got a side of strawberries and grapes. And I put two patties on here because I am skipping lunch. Because I'm eating a late breakfast, I'm just going to skip lunch. And we're going to make steak bites, a sweet potato, and asparagus for dinner. Which I am so excited. But after I eat, I'm gonna let my food digest a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my oxy strap and we're gonna go to the gym. Today is, I wanna say legs and glutes, but I could be wrong. So, I mean, y'all will see when we get to the gym. But I'm about to go ahead and tear this breakfast up because I'm starving. I know we ain't been chatting much, but I got y'all later. I'm just, I need something in my stomach right now. So, I'm about to eat, get ready for the gym, and I will meet y'all there. Mmm. <laughs> I'm 
my background. We're about to get that situated. I just got the shower. I just put on some pajamas, as y'all can see. I am tired. That workout has drained me for the day. This is normal lashes. I barely have any left, and I'm not getting a fill. I'm gonna let these fall out because lashes just cost too much money. So I'm trying to limit myself, especially because I ain't going nowhere. Like you know, no vacation or nothing. I just be wanting to look cute, but. So I'm about to go ahead and put my, my serums on. I use this discoloration serum because I have, I don't, I think they might be called acne scars inside of my face. I don't know if y'all really noticed too much. So yeah, this is what I've been using. And I also use Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Look at how that focus is. This camera is fat. While I clean up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some Topicals Faded Eye Patches. Cause we just wanna be cute and girly. You're supposed to shake this before you put it on. I just found that out recently. I don't really know if it makes a difference, but yeah, that was a good workout. So I seen on TikTok too, when I first started working out, I'm very like, when it comes to working out, I know nothing. So I was just looking at TikToks, you know, trying to figure out what works for me, what's easiest, what's, you know, stuff like that. And I found myself warming up on the treadmill, like starting my workout on the treadmill, warming up, you know, getting, getting my energy flowing and stuff and then doing my workout workout like whatever i would do for the day core legs arms whatever the case may be but i seen on tiktok you're actually supposed to do cardio last if you want to like lose weight or anything so i'm like okay so i did that today and baby i felt the difference so we're gonna switch it but y'all know i know nothing about working out so i literally have a whole workout folder on tiktok tiktok has really been helping your girl because otherwise i would not know what to do that's how the gym has been going it is i want to say today is day nine i'm pretty sure that sounds right so far so good y'all like y'all know i'm not really a workout girl i'm not really none of that so this is all pretty new to me but it's actually i don't want to say enjoyable it's a good challenge like i'm really challenging myself because if you've been here you know this is not even like me i don't do the gym i don't cook i mean i read sometimes but i don't read every single day so it's just a good way to challenge yourself i recommend everybody at least try it 75 soft you know i might do 75 hard one day but i just felt like i should take it slow and not jump into something that i know i'm not gonna complete like this is more realistic for me and i'm gonna go ahead and go on my cerave last y'all know i was using the healing ointment but i use it here and there now because it's overly moisturizing my skin was going through a phase where it was extremely dry like flaky everywhere but it's better now so now i'm back on this i'm gonna just probably go back and forth with it like when my skin is super dry i'll go back to that one but right now this is just fine make sure y'all get that neck too when i be seeing y'all do y'all skincare y'all never get that neck y'all never get that neck so i'm gonna put these patches on and we're about to clean this room because i have not cleaned it in a hot minute apparently these are reusable like once you put them on you can put them back in a pack and use them again i don't know nothing about that child oh wait it goes this way right no this way lord i can't remember which way to go it really does not matter i touched that five for you i do that three more times again i touched the five you i saw that life you never been taken with all of them around you skinny i'm not as long as you do get no answer to me i ain't got it mommy she can't do it i don't buy it as long as you dream about me ain't no problem i don't got nobody just with you right now but the truth i look better under you
I'm good. Like, I ate. I give myself like a 9 out of 10. Only because that, that sweet potato. When I usually eat sweet potatoes, I gotta put like sugar, hella butter, you know? But I can't do that because I'm on like a, a diet. So the sweet potato oil and all that, but I still ate it all. Like, I cleared that plate. It is 6.55. And I don't know what I'm about to do. I literally have nothing to do, but I do want to wake up at 6.30 tomorrow, like 6.30 a.m. Because y'all know Daylight Savings has just came and effed everything up. My sleep schedule is terrible. We need to go ahead and work on that. So I'm going to try to wake up early tomorrow. I'm trying to, like, romanticize my life and just, you know, wake up early, eat well, read, just little things like that. So I'm probably going to chill and watch YouTube. I found a new YouTuber. Y'all know I have been asking for suggestions and stuff, and I have been seeing y'all suggestions. I have been watching. I have been, you know, checking them out. But I found one YouTuber that I really do like, and I just want to share her with y'all because she deserves way more recognition in 2.48k her name on youtube is jasmine elizabeth is where her channel looks like so i've been binge watching her videos i've watched like three or four so i'm gonna just go ahead and probably binge watch her videos i think i'm gonna get on notion i'm gonna become a notion girly and plan the rest of my week out i'm gonna figure out how to use it because y'all know your girl's got the macbook so i need to put that thing to use all i did was edit one video and i haven't touched her since but i'm a college girl i still i'm gonna pick it up soon i'm just on spring break so i think i want to pick up notion and plan my week out weekends i give myself like i act like i work a nine to five with this like work from home content creator thing monday through friday is like okay get up get shit done be productive but saturday and sunday is like okay you can rest even while doing 75 stuff that makes sense like i rest but i still do everything i need to do so during the week i'm trying to be as productive as can be so i think i'm about to go ahead and either plan on my ipad or plan on notion on my macbook y'all will see so you know what let me set my alarm before i uh, clock out me saying clock out is ridiculous girl you is not at work i think i'm gonna do 620 just in case i snooze it it'll go back off so i'm gonna do 620 so i will see y'all uh, at 6 30 one of that 620 even maybe <laughs> So what can I say to you that I'm off that, had to fall back You got everybody thinking I'm all bad, you know true I was always holding you down You down Good morning y'all, it is the next day Is it 6.30 in the morning? No, because I was up till 2 And when it was like, okay girl, go to sleep for real I'm like, yeah, you're not waking up at 6, turn that alarm on now that I'm up, I probably should have woke up at 6 because as tired as I would have been, that would have got my sleep schedule back on track because I would be tired all day and then I would finally go to bed early. But it's too late. I don't know if I said good morning, but I actually take that back because is it a good morning? No. I woke up to my dog and now she's licking herself. We are about to take a bath because she's pissing me off. I woke up to my dog having a full-on blowout in my bathroom. Yeah. Queen! We about to take a B-A-T-H. And she know what it means. That's why I spelled it out. She won't pay attention last time. But that's why I spelled it out. Mm-hmm. It's time. This girl is fully potty trained. And that's how I be knowing. That's why I'm not trying to be mad. Because I know if she's doing that, then she something is wrong with her stomach or something. Because there was one point she did this before. And this is really TMI. Telling my dog business like this. But she, one time, she, it would just not stop coming out. <laughs> so I had to take her to the bed. I'm about to make a protein coffee. Got my cup of ice. My protein. I mean, why well, I say pour my protein? Pour my coffee first. Grams. They do have one that's 41 grams, I believe, but I haven't tried it. This one tastes like a vanilla milkshake. Literally. No grainy taste, no nothing. This is gonna fill me up coffee and protein. Coffee already make my stomach feel full. So the protein shake on top of that, this is about to be insane, uh. I couldn't get all of it in there. I hope it's good. I hope I didn't just ruin it. I use the coffee for my espresso. I'm upgrading my espresso soon. Cause y'all see I have the baby one. And me and my mom share now. My mom was a curing girl, but I bought her some pods for my espresso and she's been hooked ever since. So we share it now. So I just feel like it makes sense to get rid of this curing, get rid of this espresso and just get one big espresso. So. I think I ruined the, uh, that I did. It'll be all right. I might still drink it anyway. 
So it tastes like nothing but coffee now. And that pot won't even strong, but I have some things to handle. I just um, cleaned up her, you know. I mopped, I put my rugs in the washing machine, which is probably what you hear in the background if you do hear anything. So I'm about to go ahead and give her, like I said, because I just, I don't have time this morning. I'm about to go ahead and get this done. Hold on. This day that God has given me, I'm not gonna wait. This joy Because if we truly knew, if we had all the answers, I think in our human fickle mind that we wouldn't move forward. And he's all about moving us forward. He doesn't want us to stay stuck in the back. He doesn't want us to even stay stuck where we are now. He wants to take us from glory to even greater glory. Ooh, the spirit of God is moving. So, so heart check. If all was stripped away from you today, what would be your life preserver? Would you still have hope to hold on to? So we end this chapter with Job reflecting on his past and doing so is not always a bad thing. It really depends on what you're focused on. We can either look back and say, boy, I sure wish I could go back to the good old days. Or we can look back and say, wow, look at where I once was and look at where God is taking me. Look where I'm at now. We tend to focus on the bad things and we let the good things slip right through the fingertips of our minds. So heart check. When you reflect on your past, what is engraved in marble? Is it trials or blessings? Because remember, the enemy wants nothing more than to get you to think that God is not for you. But the promise we have to hold on to is that he is changing us again from glory to glory. Whether you feel like your glory days are behind you or that you are living in them right now, remember, the best days are still yet to come. No, that's Chapter right. 30, Ooh. here we enter... <laughs> I just finished doing Bible study as y'all can see and today was a word. I'm almost done with the book of Job and then we'll be going back to Genesis. We started at Genesis then did the book of Job then we're going back to finish Genesis. We all have like seasons where my season that I think God has put me in is learning patience is learning to be content with where he has me at because I feel like at times and y'all probably see this too but it's hard to admit sometimes I be feeling like Un, I don't want to say ungrateful, but sometimes I don't understand how blessed I am. I don't understand even not even speaking like materialistically, like because that stuff, it I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? I sometimes fail to realize how blessed I am. And I was kind of taking my situation and my life and the way I live my life for granted at a certain point. And that's exactly why God has kept me in this same spot. I have been in the same exact spot for the past couple months and I have been frustrated and I have been tired and I have, yeah, I have been stressed. I'm like, why am I not moving? Why am I not doing nothing? Why am I just stuck? Why am I feeling stuck? And that's because I did not appreciate where I was at. I was not thanking God for what I already have. We have to understand, like I used to pray to have the things I have today. And now that I have them, it's like, I'm still still in my head like, okay, I have it now, let's, let's go, what next? And we have to be, we have to appreciate the path that God has us on. We can't rush it. We can't, you know what I'm saying? We have to just learn how to stand still and just wait until God gives us that green light. Like the lady I watched for Bible study, she does her thing. Like that, that might've been the word I needed for a long time. But I noticed a lot of people have been commenting on my journey with God. And y'all have to understand one, one person's journey with God is their journey with God. You can't tell a certain person how to go about their journey with God. God is leading them. All this stuff takes time. Like I grew up in a Christian household. I grew up living with my grandparents and my mother and my grandpa is a pastor. My grandma was the first lady. So you can only imagine how I grew up. Church every single Sunday. I could not miss a Sunday. Sick, nope, can't miss a Sunday. Every single Sunday I was in church. And I probably wonder why you don't go to church now. And that's a whole nother story for another day. I don't even want to get into that. Um, I'm too grown. I'm at an age where I'm way too grown to be putting trauma as a reason to not do certain things. 
I feel like it's, you know, I mean, trauma doesn't have like, getting over trauma doesn't have like an age limit or anything, but I'm too grown to be blaming why I don't do certain things or why I do certain things on trauma. Been doing my Bible study. I've been taking it slow because I notice when I just jump into things, I don't commit at all whatsoever. So my journey is my journey and I really just wanna put that out there. Not even just with God, my journey with this whole fitness thing, my journey with God, my journey with YouTube, my journey with everything in life is my journey. I'm on my time. Let me not even say that, I'm not on my time. I am on God's timing. So if you don't like where I'm at, if you have an issue where I'm at, this is me and God. This is this is between me and God. I'm trying to really romanticize my life and just be grateful for where I'm at in the moment. I used to pray for financial stability. I used to pray for just being happy. Just little things like that and not realizing like he gave me that. And I'm not content. I'm like taking, taking it for granted as I shouldn't be. So yeah, I just wanted to just come vent because it's, it's been a lot lately, but you know, we have to put our faith into God. I am about to go ahead and read my 10 pages for the day. I'm gonna finish this protein coffee thingy. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I need to go to the gym, but I'll probably do a late gym today, like five, six, after dinner, seven. I don't wanna go to the gym this morning. I really don't like my dog threw my mood off this morning. I'll probably make a late breakfast and I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna find a new show to watch on Netflix. Please send me recommendations. I just finished Blood is Water. No, Blood and Water on Netflix. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. But now I need something new to watch. So I know I ask y'all for recommendations like every other video, but I be flying through these shows. So please put me on. I'm about to go ahead and just chill, probably off camera for the rest of the morning. And I'll probably come talk to y'all once it's time to make breakfast or once I'm getting my day started, started for real or whatever. Yeah, I hate this hoodie. It be choking me so bad. Breakfast is served. I made two pancakes, but I burnt one. So now I just have one little tiny pancake. I have a chocolate chip protein waffle, two slices of turkey bacon, and a bowl of fruit. And I got this light syrup. It's supposed to be less calories than the regular one. I've never had a protein pancake, so. This thing be just sliding up on my neck. I don't know how y'all be wearing these. Maybe because mine is fake, but Lord. <laughs> Moment of truth, that took the fruit cup off. It tastes like a regular chocolate chip protein. I mean, a regular chocolate chip pancake. That's pretty good. I will say so. Let me check my water. The water is really starting to become the hardest part for me at this point. I think today's gonna be a real chill day. My body feels tired. I'm not tired. My body feels tired because we have been working out, working out, working out. Like I have not had a rest day since I started. Today's day 10. And you know, y'all know I'm not used to this, so I'm gonna come check back in. Whenever we doing something, probably working out or doing whatever we gotta do for the day. I'm gonna test the gym. I just wanna give y'all a little OOTD. Okay, this pink set is from Amazon. My best friend got it for me, so I don't know the link or nothing, but from Amazon, so cute. So I'm doing arms and back today. And y'all, I completely forgot I had these. These are fake, which is why they probably were forgotten about, but I have these AirPod Maxes. And no, I do not have the link anymore. I don't, I'm sorry. I just put these little stickers on it from Amazon. This is just so cute and some little pink covers. I completely forgot about these, but don't they look so cute? I can barely hear myself talking because they're noise canceling. I forgot how to connect these, so I was literally about to buy some beats. Girl, don't waste your money, boo. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, connect, connect. Connecting, boom. Ooh, I'm about to have a fire workout. I have a whole workout playlist. No, it's not public. I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe one of these days I'll get around to making one public. I have my whole workout playlist, like headphones with this cute outfit. Let's go lock in. <laughs>
like nine something in the morning. I need to wash my hands. I just do my skincare. My hands feel sticky. I am about to head in the kitchen and make iced coffee. Sugar free, of course. And some protein pancakes like the ones we made yesterday. And I'll go ahead and put on these caffeine energizing eye patches. I've used these before, but it's been a long time. I relaxed all night last night. Got my life together. So today should be today should be pretty good. I'll be having to scoot these down because they'd be too close to my eye when I blink. I'm gonna leave these on while I make breakfast. I'm gonna bring y'all to the kitchen with me. I'm making protein pancakes and a cup of iced coffee and that is our breakfast. And I have nothing on my agenda per usual. This 75 soft is like literally my personality for the next. Wait, how many? Are we in the 50s now? Girl, you're pushing it. No, we're not. Um, 75. Hold on, y'all. I need my calculator. Okay, 64. For the next 64 days, this 75 soft is literally gonna be my whole personality because, you know, but I'm glad I'm doing it. I really recommend everybody take time a couple weeks you know whatever is possible for you in your situation a couple weeks a couple months even a year to just sit back and get your life together stack your money save your money like you would be surprised how much you can get done like last year i would say from like january to around the time i quit my job which was september i took that time to just stack and the amount of money i saved is ridiculous and the amount of money i spent from that is even more ridiculous but that's not the point I just felt like I deserved to have fun. I deserved to go out the country. I deserved to take these trips. I deserved to do that because I was working my little butt off. But all I'm saying is, if you just sit back for however long is possible for you, it's okay. And I know a lot of people just be like, oh, you're young, go out, have fun. It's only 75 days. It's only a year. You know what I'm saying? It's not that bad. And if you really have goals you wanna go after, like I'm not even talking about, this one had to be just working out, saving money. This could be anything. If you have goals you want to go after, sometimes you need to sit your ass down and go after them goals and stop going outside, stop doing this, stop doing that. Really what I'm doing, I feel like this year is my year to get to lock in, like fitness-wise, health-wise, money-wise, you know, being in school again, like this is really my time to just sit back and be like, yeah, I'll pop out. I'll pop out again towards the end of the year. Y'all know my birthday and stuff is coming up. Not really, but my birthday and stuff is towards the end of the year, so... I'm chilling right now. I don't, I don't know. A lot of people just always be like, girl, you're so young. You need to be out. You need to be doing this, this, and that. No, I don't. Y'all got to stop telling people what they need to be doing. Some people don't want to do that. Some people have other plans in life. Some people have different things they want. We got to stop telling people just because they're young, you need to be at the club. You don't need to be at home. You need to be out dating all these men. No, you don't. If you don't want to, stop. Don't listen to these people. For real, this is your life. Live it how you want to live it. But um, I have nothing on the agenda. I really am trying to save money. I've been doing okay. I haven't, you know, I haven't even gone nowhere. I just be in the house. And as long as I'm in the house being productive, I'm okay with that. Like if I'm just in the house being lazy, that's when I start to lose my mind. But if I'm being productive, reading, working out, cooking, making content, editing videos, stuff like that, then I'm okay. So I've been, I've been holding me down. A chill day once again. It's gloomy outside. I know it look like it's like some sun coming in, but it is not. Oh, it's supposed to rain. I'm definitely not going nowhere today. It's supposed to rain until 3 p.m. I need to get up and run to the store real quick because I don't play in no rain. I need to get up and run to the store, come back, then do what I got to do for the day. I might be the biggest homebody YouTuber y'all have ever met, and this is, this is just how it's going to stay. I'm not here to... I feel like this is crazy coming out my mouth as a content creator because... I have an audience who watches me and who wants to see certain things. But I don't, I'm not a people pleaser, okay? I'm not a people pleaser. Certain amount of time from now, 
I'm gonna look back at this and be like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like two, three, four, five years from now, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I don't even, I don't even think like that because a lot of people be like, oh, what's your plans five years from now, baby? Whatever God got for me. I don't think that far ahead. Like, yeah, of course I want a career. Of course I want a house. Of course I want this, this, and that. Of course I want the money. Of course I want this, this, and that. But it's all on God's timing. So I can't tell you what I want five years from now. I mean, I can tell you what I want, but you know, I don't even know why I'm talking so much. I'm gonna hit y'all when we're doing something else. I don't even know. We just taking it day by day. It is lunchtime, y'all, and I'm about to go ahead and eat. I made a sandwich with whole wheat bread, which I absolutely hate, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I got these little veggie veggie straw sticks, which I also hate. That's okay. I literally had nothing in there I could just really like throw together for real. I just went ahead and picked my MacBook up. I'm about to go ahead and respond to some emails for promos and stuff because I'm a little bit behind. I got cheese, turkey, lettuce, tomato, mayo, and turkey bacon. Not that bad. Let's try these. But that's pretty decent. Eat lunch and just try to be a little bit productive today because it's gloomy, it's throwing me off. I wanna go to sleep, but I won't. And I was gonna go to the gym later tonight, like around seven, eight o'clock, so it can help me go to sleep and get my sleep schedule back on track. Like I told y'all, since daylight savings, um, I'm all over the place. But I, I don't know, it don't sit right with me going at night. I just like going in the daytime, but I might try to switch it up a little bit. But that's just a long time to just sit and wait, you know what I'm saying? All my gym girlies, y'all go to the gym in the morning, the afternoon, or at night, and why? Like I know some people work and stuff, so they gotta, they gotta go before or after, but like what's more beneficial? Or it doesn't matter. Cause if it doesn't matter, it's just, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But if it actually does matter, like, you know, maybe go after dinner so you can burn all the calories of what you ate all day, you know what I'm saying? Or, I don't know. I'm about to find something to watch on Netflix, I'm about to finish eating lunch and responding to emails. I'll probably let my food digest, head to the gym, come back, shower. Y'all know my routine by now, come on. Boy, oh boy. I guess y'all read my faces. I did core today. So we can get this pouch on. Follow Reagan. Reagan? Reagan? I don't know which way you pronounce her name, but um, I followed her ab workout day. This is her page. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are familiar with her, but... And this is the workout video I, um, let me fast forward. This is the workout video I was following. But it is shower time, boo. And make dinner. I'm debating on if I want honey glazed salmon with rice and that leftover asparagus that I never ate yesterday. Or if I want a Caesar salad and just put the salmon on top. So while I'm in the shower, I'm gonna decide that and then we get out, we're gonna make dinner. I am starving, my stomach is growling so bad. So much it tries me insane. I ain't got a clue, bruh. So what can I say to you? But I'm off that had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know true. I was always holding you down. You down. It is the next day. I woke up at about 7.30 ish. What is on my face? Oh my God, it's pimples, what? 
Okay, mm-hmm. that's actually insane. Like, let me turn this way. Yeah, I'm about to get up out the bed. I want to do a morning gym session today because I haven't done one in a while. I want to get into the gym like right before 10 o'clock. It's, um, I'm about to just make me like a bowl of fruit, some grapes, strawberries, oranges for breakfast just to hold me over till after the gym. So I just want to get it done and over with today. Like gym, reading, start drinking my water, all that. Do it now. Then I have to go out. I have to go to Walmart to pick something up for me and my mom. And then I want to also get these soaked off. I know I pretty much kind of just got them done not too long ago. Like, I'm getting my nails taken off because I'm going back short. I could have just got a fill now that I think about it and had her cut them down. But I don't want this pink base anymore. I want to go back to the regular base. I think I'm going to just stay short for a while because I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I keep doing long and then I get tired of it and then I go back to short. So I think I'm going to just stick with short. But I'm going to try to get them soaked off today. If not today, then I'll do it this weekend. It's not really a rush because my appointment is not still, I want to say Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know. But we're about to get up and get our day started. I just wanted to check in. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the up. Hey, This is the book I have been telling y'all about that I ordered on Amazon. I went to the gym. I came back, ate lunch. I ate a salmon Caesar salad with the leftover salmon from yesterday. And let's say took a shower. Went to the gym, took a shower, ate lunch. And it is like, I don't have my phone on me. This is my new read. It's called The 5 AM Club. It's a pretty thick book too. I'm excited to get into this. All right, so this is my current read. It's called Single On Purpose. And this is going to be my next read. I'm going to finish this one first because that just makes the most sense. And then I'll read this one. I did start with this. But, um, I don't know. It's It was really good. And it was really, like, you know, having me in my thoughts thinking about, like, oh, what I'm reading. Like, this is actually really teach me something. But I feel like this book right here, it has, like, real life examples that the author went through. It's, like still entertaining but still still like you know focus on self-improvement so i think that's why this one caught my attention a little bit more this is literally just like straight self-improvement no entertainment no nothing just straight to the point and i'm gonna finish this eventually but because this is obviously a super thin book i'm gonna finish this eventually but we'll put this on the back burner for now but i need to go to walmart but i just want to stay in the house at this point i am such a homebody y'all this is ridiculous i really just need to go to walmart to look for these protein shakes that me and my mom wanted to try but she's about to go out someone tell her girl can you go get them all right hey y'all i didn't end up going to walmart because walmart is further than target yeah these days i just don't like being out the house I don't know what it is. It's about to start feeling good outside. Oh, I got to get up out of this because, I mean, it don't be nothing to do but spend money. And I'm in my saving bag. I don't care what nobody got to say. All, I'm not going to say all year because I got like three trips planned. But that's besides the point. Outside of them trips, outside of my birthday, outside of all the big events coming up, I'm trying to stack and get in my bag, okay? But that's besides the point. Uh, I just got back from Target. This is cookies and cream, which I'm about to make a protein coffee because I'm about to be in editing mode and I need something to pick me up. And then this one I'll probably just drink on its own because it don't sound like it'll be good with coffee. It's Cake Better Delights. I've been seeing people drink this one, so I'm excited to try it, but we're gonna try this cookies and cream and we might toss it in iced coffee depending on how it tastes. Because what's been tricking me lately with this whole eating better or whatever, you see something at the store that say one gram of sugar or one gram of added sugar. But when you look at how much regular sugar it has, like I bought these um, protein bars from Aldi that y'all seen in the grocery haul a little bit back, the cookie dough ones. And I took a bite this morning. I'm like, ugh. So I checked the, the back and it says it has 12 grams of sugar and 16 grams of added sugar. Just because it got protein don't mean it's good. So let me, uh, total sugar one, zero added sugar. See, perfect. So I'm about to go ahead and try this Premier Protein Cookies and Cream. It do got more of a chocolate taste than like cookies and, I mean, when I think of cookies and cream, I think of that Hershey bar. The white Hershey bar with the chocolate pieces inside. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this just tastes like, chocolate it tastes more chocolatey than 
the girls are getting it. I'm gonna make a coffee. Our shot is done. I'm just gonna add a splash of milk. I know this is probably not ideal, but last time I made it, y'all know I said it was too strong, so. It filled up about, that's about halfway. The cookies and cream taste is kind of faint now, but once I start drinking it down, I can add the rest of the shake. And it'll bring the taste back a little bit, cause that's what I did last time. I have my editing juice. I'm about to go edit this video and close it out. I'm just in my head, head y'all. I'm like, since when? I mean, I, since when did I become so content in the house? Like, it's nothing wrong with that, but like, damn, I've been in the house all week. I leave for like 15 minutes and I'm I'm ready to come back home. I don't know, y'all. Week two of 75 soft will be done when this is uploaded, which will be on Sunday. I will be at 14 days. Today is day 12. Um, so far, so good, y'all. I really can't complain. I know I talked to y'all in the beginning of this vlog about my cravings and they're not really bad anymore. But what I will say is my TikTok for you page is filled with mukbangs, 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 whatever. And I cannot, that's what's making the cravings, okay? It's not me just randomly thinking about stuff. I scroll, I don't even think about it. I scroll on my TikTok and all I see is people eating Chipotle, people eating burgers, people eating seafood balls. I cannot escape. If I click not interested, it'll pop back up next video. The gym has been pretty good. I've been working out every single day. I haven't skipped a day in the gym. Um, I do one active recovery day, so don't don't think I'm like overworking myself. I do one active recovery day, which means something small, but still like, you know, active. So I could just literally do yoga if I wanted to. And that could be my, my recovery day is on Sunday though. Cause I feel like that's the best day to just give myself a little bit of grace. The water, like I told y'all, that is a little bit, I've been struggling just a little bit. I've only not finished once, but sitting here trying to chug water back to back to back, I be wanting to throw up. I don't know what it is. Like I be chugging, 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 trying to get my intake for the day. And I'm just like, reading, I've been doing pretty good on. Um, I actually like the books I'm reading, so that also helps too. So it's actually been going pretty good, y'all. I really give myself props. If you've been here for a while, this is like a life-changing thing for me. It might be like, that might, sound, that might sound so dramatic to somebody, but like I used to just sit on my ass, eat out every single day, not work out. I gained almost 30 pounds but not for the reasons y'all think i was on birth control and i got off and when i got off my body said uh-uh and my body is still adjusting to this day like i didn't think it was gonna be that bad but i got off and my body just started doing all these types of changes um acne i don't even break out acne it was just a lot and that's really when i was like okay i just started noticing myself gaining 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 i'm like this gotta, this gotta go. So I just decided to do something about it. And I've tried to do something about it so many different times. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be for this time. I'm gonna be for this time. But I feel like starting this challenge has held me more accountable. And also I don't want my channel to revolve around 75 Soft now. But like, this is what my life is for the next, I think 63, 62 days. So it's kind of hard to not incorporate it into all my next couple of videos. I could still do like, you know, little maintenance vlogs and stuff like that. But it is really hard to try to switch my content up at this point because this is really my lifestyle for the next couple weeks you get what i'm saying so i don't know i don't mind it though i hope y'all don't mind it because i don't mind it um i haven't weighed myself at all through this process because i don't have a scale and i told my mama like i really want a scale to weigh myself and she was like no don't get a scale because some people don't even lose a pound but it looks different like the weight the fat turns into muscle you know what i'm saying so you might have started at 120 and ended at 120, but you got a butt now. You got a little muscle in your arm. You got some, some, some abs, you know what I'm saying? So I guess it's just more, I guess that's like discouraging for some people and I can see that. So I'm not going to weigh myself or anything. I am taking progress pictures every two weeks. So on Sunday, I'll take a picture again. I took pictures when I first started and then on Sunday, I'll take pictures for two weeks and then four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. And I think it stops at 10 weeks, like 10 and a half weeks. If anybody is starting 75 soft, let me know. Because I've seen a lot of people in the comments saying I motivated them to start. <laughs> and that a lot of people have started. So let me know. Let me know how it's going for y'all. Let me know if you have any, like, you know, advice or anything like that for me. Because it will get harder. I know that, like, right now it might be a little simple because we're still in the beginning. But, like, the working out every day is really going to catch up to me. And I'm going to be tired. 
so yeah I just wanted to go ahead and close this video out it is currently 2 15 and I'm about to spend the rest of my day in the bed binge watching a new show and getting this video ready for y'all so I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video